What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Riggs Gaming. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today are some impressive kill squads. Kill squads at the Town Hall 9, 10, and Town Hall 11 level. Uh, this is actually going to be some action coming from FYSB's CWL Premier Week 7 matchup against the back road. FYSB doing work this war, you guys, clearing all but two bases. So like I said, we'll be covering each of the Town Halls. We'll go ahead and start off with some Town Hall 9 action. This one is going to be coming from Suyash from FYSB. And he's going to be doing a Kill Squad Lalo attack. Uh, a very, I mean, I know we see a lot of Suis. We see a lot of uh, the big Kill Squads, you know, the bitch style attacks, um, the Falcon style attacks. But what's good about using a Kill Squad is it can often be done fresh, which is exactly what Suyash is going to be doing on this base right here. Uh, on this attack, he is going to be bringing one kill squad, so this is going to be a CB entry. And if you guys notice, he didn't bring any wall breakers, just uh, dropping down that jump spell, leading him access to a couple air defenses, an expo, a sweeper, the clan castle, and the enemy queen. It's all about value. Uh, when you guys are trying to figure out what bases to use the kill squads on. Uh, and like I said, kill squads are very, very good uh, when you're going to be hitting a base fresh. So he got all the key objectives. And look at that. Look at the heroes doing work. They are still going. Queen is, I, I guarantee you, he did not expect the queen to make it that far. Uh, taking out both of those wizard towers up there at 12 o'clock. Look at that little kill squad clearing out the... Uh, pretty much not only the core but i mean the entire right hand side of the base starting as lalo over here at the bottom right i uh, dropping down a couple haste spells usually when you're using uh doing a kill squad lalo whether you're bringing one golem or two golems uh often you're just gonna be bringing haste and a heal spell for your lalo just because you usually with this uh, style kill squad you're investing a jump and a rage uh especially since he brought bowlers in the cc as well uh, so definitely something to consider when you're trying to figure out what spells to use. Jump Rage is going to be the most common uh, when you guys are trying to determine the spells to use for the Kill Squad. That usually uh, will leave you at least, if you you can bring 3 Haste and a Heal, or 5 Haste and a Heal, or 5 Haste and a Rage. just depends on the base really, but a beautiful attack coming from Suyash. Alright, so that was our Town Hall 9 feature. Now we're going to go ahead and show you guys Doom, who actually 6-packed this war... Uh, against the back road. Big shout out to them, by the way. Uh, but Doom killing it with these kill squad style attacks. Uh, you're going to be seeing me bring down two golems. Um, and I, I, I mean, I, I dare to say that this is not a very common attack at Town Hall 10. Not even sure why. I mean, this completely wrecks. Uh, usually, when you're, when you're going to be using a kill squad to take out a Town Hall 10, it's pretty much an even trade. One golem per air defense. Uh, so he went ahead and brought uh, two golems to this attack, hoping to get both of those air defenses on the far left-hand side. He's obviously going to go ahead and get other air targeting defenses on the way in. And he also uh, went ahead and invested a heal spell on this attack as well, which is also something not very common at Town Hall 10, using a heal spell on the kill squad. But in doing so, look at how much value he got from this kill squad. Look, the queen is still going pop ability, took out that infernal tower uh that was right there in the core she is still going that kill squad ended up picking up three air defenses completely wrecking this base the entire core the entire left hand side of this base flight coming down here at the bottom uh starting at about five o'clock for the spells on the flight portion bringing three haste and one raid spell uh, and dropping down a big group of loons notice they go ahead and take out that mortar to keep all of these loons pushed in uh to this top side where he's gonna be taking on an, an inferno tower two archer towers and two wizard towers doom wrecking i'm telling you guys kill squads are freaking killing it right now at every single town hall level and nothing but cleanup. Um, always making sure you bring a few minions over that cleanup. He also has uh, some cleanup coming from the pups. And obviously, he's got, I don't know, at least a do uh, half a dozen loons left over. Doom, huge shout out to him. Dude is a freaking beast. All right, guys, next up, we have Pat. He's going to be bringing one golem 
to this attack. So go ahead and check out the value that he's been getting from this kill squad as well. Uh, and notice he dropped it right on that archer tower over on the far left hand side at nine o'clock. Just bring in a few wizards for the top side to create the funnel. Baby dragon gonna go ahead and take uh, care of the rest of the funnel on the right hand side, dropping on bowlers. Uh, I believe he brought eight bowlers to this attack uh, and just a single golem entry, doing it with uh, cold blooded entry. There goes a jump spell, followed up by a rage spell, trying to rage uh, not only the, the bowlers, but also the healers as they're making their way into the core of this base where you, where you have got to take out that queen nose. There's no skeleton spells in these kill squads, so wants to make sure that that kill squad takes out the queen. There she goes under ability. Uh, also takes out the Inferno Tower, went ahead and took out one air defense. Queen kind of tied up on those ground skellies, but she is going to keep going. Now he's going to go ahead and start his flight portion down here at 6 o'clock. Uh, the spells, notice he didn't use a heal spell for the kill squad like Doom did. That is going to leave him two more extra haste, so a total of five haste and one heal spell uh, for the flight portion. And they go ahead and bring a maxed hound for the CC. So he goes in and hastes that uh, that large group of loons down there to take out the air defense. They're gonna go ahead and pretty much one shot the Inferno Tower flying into it. Has a couple more loons again uh, targeting that mortar from there. They're gonna go ahead and take out the air defense. Goes in, drops down that heal spell as he is taking some damage from not only the Wizard Tower but also that Archer Tower. Once that Archer Tower goes down, all the air targeting defenses will be taken care of. And again, always making sure you bring um, at least half a dozen, if not more minions. I mean, sometimes you can see as much as 10, sometimes even 12 minions to help with the cleanup. But he also had a lot of help uh, from those lava hounds um, with the pups. Cleaned it up very, very nicely. All right, guys, this attack right here was is something in itself. Check out this attack, guys. Almost kind of like a half falcon, but he's also going to be, I mean, look, he's got 10 balloons he's going to be bringing to this attack. He's got a skeleton spell. Uh, the, the spell composition is, is something very similar that we see in the falcon attack with the three rage and one heal spell. Uh, he's bringing 11 Valkyries, and he also has three bowlers of his own, as well as bowlers in the CC, but bringing a bunch of loons to this attack. Uh, so a very, very cheap funnel, just a baby dragon up there at 12 o'clock. He went ahead and pathed right to make sure that the queen goes ahead and paths down to the left. And here comes the king and again, just a few wizards to go ahead and set the funnel on the left hand side. When he goes in and drops down those Valkyries, they're going to go ahead and target uh, a nice trail leading right into the base. There goes the Valkyries, went ahead and popped his uh, king ability. As he was taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, rage spell leading all of the bowlers in. And you'll see that the queen is going to be kind of meeting up uh, with this main push from this kill squad. Uh, we have two wizard towers right there in the core. Went ahead and dropped down a heal spell to make sure that those bowlers and those Valkyries stay up. Those max wizard towers do absolute work. Another rage spell still has one more skeleton spell to use. And you'll see uh, most of the air targeting defenses are all down. He's pretty much just going to be dropping down these loons. You'll see over on the far uh uh, left hand side just dropping down one loon to take out that cannon has a couple more loons up there at the top uh, just below that army camp taking out that cannon and pretty much ends up swagging that skeleton spell on the builder hut to help with this cleanup uh, just ended up completely wrecking that base I mean, it was pretty much a falcon attack, but bringing 10 balloons, uh, very rarely do you see that many balloons brought uh, to a falcon style attack, but had to get that one out from the Zoinks, loved uh, that attack. All right, guys, next up, this will be uh, an attack coming from Anga, and this is going to be, uh, again, highlighting kill squads. Kill squads killing it right now at Town Hall 10. Uh, he's going to be doing... Uh, a queen walk leading into a CB entry, and he is going to be. Look at how many bowlers that he's bringing to this attack, guys. We have 11 camp bowlers. I believe he has bowlers in the CC, uh, and he does have um, eight hogs that he's, he's going to be bringing. So, this is pretty much 
all kill squad you guys a very unique way to break down a base uh something that i definitely would not have tried uh when i saw this attack i had to bring it to you guys and you'll see queen is gonna be pathing to the right very very nicely nice uh skips from the bowler bounces uh taking out that mortar and you'll see there goes the golem uh dropping on a baby dragon unfortunately he also had a minion tied up there so it doesn't get that uh that little mini rage ability from the baby dragon not gonna matter here comes the bowler bowlers you guys 11 bowlers plus five coming out of the cc we got 16 bowlers heading straight into this base all kill squad uh went ahead and dropped down he uh, got a successful wall break jump spell leading everything into the core you can see that this core is very very open uh goes in and drops down another jump spell leading all the troops to the back end up there at 12 o'clock you guys queen underage doing work still has that ability there goes the raid spell uh, as we see those bowlers are still doing work you can kind of see that the healers peeled off of the queen which worked out very very nicely and just gonna be trickling in uh his hogs starting up here at 12 o'clock no spells you guys for the hogs completely ended up wrecking this base look at how many bowlers uh again you guys uh seeing attacks that we are not used to seeing an all kill spot very very town hall nine style um i mean straight up all kill squad just bringing eight hogs for the back end of the troops no spells for the hogs absolutely loved it huge shout out to anga on that one all right this is going to be our last and final attack this one coming from none other than tommy cran uh again going to be using a kill squad uh you can see what he's going to be using on this attack you guys is a queen walk leading into uh bowlers uh this is kind of that attack that we have been seeing uh the queen walk leading into the bitch style attack uh but if you guys also notice uh similar to to the the attack that we saw coming from the zoinks um bringing quite a few loons to this attack something a little bit different just a unique twist um to an attack that we have been seeing a lot wrecking bases and you can kind of see this is similar i mean I mean, similar, I mean, kind of a ring base, uh, a different style ring base than what we're used to seeing. But you can see with this kill squad, there's no walls really going to be stopping it. We do have a big dragon and some loons coming out of the CC. Kill squad is going to completely uh, rip through that CC, especially under poison. And you can see he does have one healer helping out the bowler witch flank down there at the bottom and just uh, saving the loons uh, just to kind of clean up towards the back end uh and you can see he does still have queen ability and one more raid spell uh healers kind of peeled off of her and look at how many bowlers he has uh going through the bottom section of this base we will be we'll, where that's where he's gonna be dropping down the raid spell and as you see he was nice and patient waited for these defenses to start targeting uh that main group of bowlers before he goes ahead and drops down those loons and they're gonna kind of just slowly pick apart uh these outer defenses now we'll go ahead and times two this he has way too many troops left up uh and again especially with the ring style base nothing really stopping uh this kill squad and you have the healers healing up the bowlers uh had to bring you guys that attack coming from tommy kren uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh i mean kill squads are definitely meta and especially the unique attacks that we're seeing especially that last one uh where it's pretty much all kill squad just bringing eight hogs on the back end showed you guys some action from the town hall 9 level town hall 10 and even the town hall 11 level hopefully you guys enjoyed it big shout out to everybody over in fysb and of course big shout out to everybody over in the back road fysb getting the victory though 103 299 uh, very, very solid victory for FYSB, but that's going to do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave the video a like. If you're new here, welcome. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and of course, comments, questions, or concerns down in the comments section below. Uh, and this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the very next video.